we start a new chapter called electricity. Electricity is a form of energy. Okay. Electricity is a form of energy that is so pervasive, it is present in such ways around us that we cannot even imagine our life without electricity. So the light that is working, the fans that are working, even the batteries that are working, or whatever we can think of, okay, all the motors, the generators, the, 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 maybe even in cars while you start, okay, there is a form of energy working that is called electricity in all your ACs and all our heaters and all geysers and electric irons, TVs, fans, microwaves, mixers, grinders, anything, even even the modern day filters, all the light around us, all, all, all the, all the, all the machinery, the gadget, the, the batteries, uh, the mobiles, okay, if we were not able to charge them by electricity, then maybe, maybe they would not have been in the, uh, they would not have been even invented, okay. So, or, or even if we used, say, solar, then also it is electricity which is charging the battery. Fine. So, so, so electricity is nothing but a form of energy. Electricity uh, is a form of energy which is produced mostly by burning of coals. Okay. Produced mostly. I'll say about 70% of it, 70% by burning of coal, okay? And what happens when we burn coal? The chemical energy that resides in the, in the carbon atoms of coal, they break and give us heat. That heat we use to heat water and convert it into steam and that steam hits the blades of the turbine and give us and rotate it and due to electromagnetic induction we get electricity, induced current. So a form of energy produced mostly by burning of coal, okay, or running water, say about that is hydroelectricity, okay, hydro electricity city that that will be around 20 percent or nuclear fuel say about three to four percent or non-conventional sources right what are the non-conventional sources they are wind they are, what else, wind, wind energy, what else, tidal, ocean thermal, solar, okay, etc. Okay, what are the advantages of electricity? the advantages it is it is easily produced easily produced and transported very easily transported okay and can lead to and can run a variety of gadgets. It may heat, it may cool, it may move, it may, it may light, okay? And has diverse usage. It has diverse usage, okay? And what is that usage? You may, it may, can light, move, heat, cool, 
is it not the objects around it okay it can light things it can move things it can it can do so many things and one of the most advantageous things is that it is very easily transported okay now now that we understand what it is let us try to go further and define what a circuit and a current is okay <clears throat> we we must have seen a torch and what happens in a torch is something like this this is a battery with a positive side here and the negative here and say there is a wire connected through a switch okay and this say lights a bulb if i'm able to set up this very primitive sort of connection then this bulb this bulb starts glowing correct so we first define this <clears throat> the the electric circuit what's on this whatever is 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 formed is called an electric circuit what is what is an electric circuit correct uh, an unbroken or closed continuous path an unbroken continuous path for the current for the or in which electric current flows is called is called and electric circuit it is called an electric circuit okay it has a battery so battery is the battery acts as the source of electric power okay it acts as a source of electric power okay and and the switch switch here in this situation it is still open if it is closed we put a solid dot within it <clears throat> okay so switch it makes or breaks the continuous path that is the circuit when plugged in it makes it when when put on and when put off it makes or breaks the continuous path or the circuit okay now if there is a current that flows inside the circuit i'd like to 
objectively measure it. I want to know how much of the current is flowing and how do I define it. Okay, so, so let us go on to define the electric current. Let us go on to define the electric current. So, so, so do I raise this? Fine. Or maybe, maybe so much part of it I'll raise. Okay. Let us try to understand what an electric current is. So, an electric current. Okay, and electric current and electric current is the amount of charge moving across a cross sectional area a cross sectional area per unit time is called electric current so what do I mean? What do I mean? Hmm? Yeah. So I have this as my wire. Say, say when the current is flowing, I'm I'm saying this hypothetically. I'm able to to cut this wire. Or, or I am able to see, look into this, even when the current is still flowing, okay. Even when the current is still flowing, I am able to look here. And, and I see that, so these are, say the, this is the movement of the electrons, okay. In a, in a. In a solid conductor, it is the electrons which move and and create the electric current. So, if Q amount of charge moves of charge moves across the cross sectional area, the cross sectional area in time t then 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 the average current i then the average current i is given by I is equal to Q upon T. Okay. So Q upon T coulombs per second. Is it not? That will be the that will be the unit coulombs per second and 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 one coulomb per second is called one ampere sorry one coulomb per second is called one ampere okay so one coulomb per second is equal to one ampere ampere which i designate as as capital a this is the symbol that we use we do not keep on writing ampere every time and when it is maybe a very small current so we might be using a thing called milliampere. Milliampere is 10 to the power minus 3 amperes. Or maybe a microampere, that is 10 to the power minus 6 amperes. Okay. 
and if we are dealing with maybe high amounts of current large quantities then i might come across <coughs> a kilo ampere that is that is 1000 amperes this is actually 10 to the power 10 to the power 3 amperes maybe a mega ampere that is 10 to the power 6 amperes okay do you understand the point now when we are talking about the electric current we should be clear about one thing and it is a mistake that we are carrying through and I as a teacher am asking you to to accept that mistake okay what happened in the early days when we were just trying to discover what currents were and what things were it was thought that it was the it was the movement of the positive charges which were causing currents okay so when we had say say uh, in earlier days in earlier days so i raised this so in earlier days we thought hmm, in in early days it was thought that electric current was caused by electric current was caused by the movement of the movement of positive charges so we showed the the movement of the current like that originating from the positive terminal of the battery and obviously the positive charges will go and get attracted towards the towards the negative terminal so so this is what we showed right <coughs> later it came to be known known that the current is due to current is due to negative charges which we now call electrons now if it is due to the negative charges then the negative will get attracted towards the towards the positive terminal and it will originate from the negative terminal okay it will originate from the negative terminal right it will originate from the negative terminal so so it should have been something like this but what happened with this convention a whole generation or rather two generations of engineers and scientists and and teachers they grew up on this convention and so many textbooks were written with this convention they were trained and taught under this convention so what happens we thought if we change if we try to change it there will be a hell lot of confusion so we said that that we will we'll, we'll, we'll call this the red direction to be the conventional direction of current and we we'll leave it like that that means we made our mistake permanent okay we said that we leave the direction of the current as it is and call it the conventional direction of current okay so so the direction of current that was wrongly stated okay thus the wrongly shown direction of current came to be called came to be called the conventional conventional